Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With the color replacement tool, you can replace an original color in an image with the foreground color. The color replacement tool provides an artistic advantage in that it preserves all the tones in the image. You can change the sampling methods, limits, and tolerance settings to control the range of colors that Photoshop changes in your image. To use this tool, select it from the toolbox, which shares a spot with the brush and the pencil tools. So we'll go over here and right click, and then select the color replacement tool. You set your brush settings such as diameter and hardness from the drop down menu in the options bar, which we saw in the last lesson. And remember that you can drag your brush out into the image and see the size of your brush. We're going to change a couple of these red flowers to different colors, so I think we'll leave our brush set right where it is, and we'll leave the hardness set at 100%. Next, you select a blending mode from the drop down. You can select, first off, hue, which is similar in colors. You can select saturation, which is used to convert to grayscale. You can select color, which will just change the color in the image, which is what we want to do in this case. And you can also select luminosity. We'll just keep it at color. Next, you'll need to select your sampling method with these three buttons right here. We have continuous, which samples continuously as you drag your mouse. Next, we have once, which is just one click. So if you have in a case like this where we're going to change a couple of these flowers, you'd have to click several times to do that if you choose. And then we have background swatch, which only replaces color matching your background color. So we're going to leave that as continuous. Next, you set your limits to the right of that with the drop down. We have discontiguous which will replace the sampled color wherever it appears under the pointer, contiguous, which replaces colors that are adjacent to the color under the pointer, or find edges, which attempts to find those natural edges in your image. And we have a very sophisticated image here with lots of edges, so we're going to attempt to find the edges. We'll select that. The tolerance setting right here is used to set how similar the pixels you select should be to the other colors in the image. A lower percentage changes colors very similar to the ones you select. A higher percentage changes a broader range of colors. And so because there are such striking differences in the colors in this image, we're going to go ahead and increase that all the way to 100%. And finally, selecting the anti-alias checkbox gives a smoother edge to the areas that you do change. We'll go ahead and leave that selected as well. Once we have those options set, select the color that you want to change as the foreground color. I think we'll change these to a nice green, nice dark green and we'll select OK. Then you just click and drag over your image to replace the color. And you can also zoom in and out for more precision if needed as you make your color replacement. So we'll go ahead and click into our image and drag around and replace the color. just like that. And that's all there is to replacing color in an image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.